Hi, welcome to church. So glad you're here. This is the Church of Kitchy Love, and I'm Reverend Lunch Lady. And this is the place that unicorns gather to worship the non conventional sacred texts and teachers. And today's sermon is a really powerful spiritual teaching. And I decided to invite in some creative guests to help us understand this. Before we do that, I just want to ask you a question. How many of you have ever felt like maybe you're an exception? Like maybe you're not even supposed to be here because it seems like things are so easy for other people or it just sometimes feels really hard. Almost like you have a bunch of spirit guides that are totally checked out and just on a couch somewhere picking out on Doritos and binge watching Orange is the New Black. Do you know what I mean? So today's sermon is going to crack the code kind of like a Ritz cracker with a bunch of cheese whiz on top. It's really like tempting to go to those places. But those places are a lie. Because cheese whiz is not cheese. It's not even food. So let me introduce you to my friends. Welcome, Sheila, Brenda, and Linda. And as you can see, they're not really having the best day. And just a little backstory without sounding gossipy, but Sheila, she has a really hard time with Brenda because Brenda always wants to be the center of attention. And it also kind of bugs her that she overuses the word indeed in like a snotty way. And then Brenda is super just pouty and complainy and just frankly jealous of Sheila because Sheila got the super hot gig in the Montgomery Ward catalog, where she'll be modeling Brazier's. And then Linda is so scared of rejection and so scared she won't fit in or that people won't like her, that she's her insecurities keep her running away and she's not even wanting to get anywhere near the cool kids. So you can feel there's a lot of suffering here, fear and competition and complaining and jealousy and all of this stuff within this. But here's the misunderstanding and why I'm bringing this sermon to you is that they have forgotten that they are all part of one creative pattern. They are all the same. Although the form of it and the form of each of us is slightly different. The tank dress, the leisure suit, pants suit, the career casual, but it's all the same pattern. And when we remember this, when we remember, oh, we're all one pattern, we're all simplicity. 5563. Then we remember that in this creative flow, this divine intelligence, you are taken care of. You are part of that divine flow. You are part of the abundance. There's no scarcity. There's no, there's nothing but love when you remember this. And some people call this God, goddess, spirit, little baby Jesus, unicorn fairies, something. But I call it simplicity 5563. That when you remember, oh yeah, the label, I am part of the oneness then you are free because whatever you're doing to another, you're doing to yourself. Whatever good or bad you see in another, that is 
part of who you are too. So I honor the simplicity 5563 in me as I un bow and honor the 5563 simplicity in you. Thank you, ladies. So giddy up, unicorns. And remember, as you smile and catch eyes of other unicorns, that you are all one pattern. Simplicity 5563. So giddy up and gallop on into the sunset knowing that you are included you are not an exception you are part of this wonderful amazing pattern whatever it looks like cool lots or jean skirt or bell bottoms or <sighs> gauchos you're all included Thank you for being here. We'll see you real soon.